What's up, world? This is the Sosa Truth A Lot Thursdays. Back at you. Well, Truth A Lot Thursday. Um, it's been a minute, so I can't really claim that we do it every Thursday anymore. Don't have a lot of a time. A lot of the Thursdays get kind of hectic. Um, but I am back for today. And the last question for today, it says, um, are threesomes against the will for a married couple? I know the Bible says a man shall not lay with another man, but this isn't a man. Also, the husband and wife are in agreement with it. Is it justified or am I looking out of context? Very interesting question. Are threesomes against the will of God? Um, biblically, threesomes definitely are against the will of God. You can look at uh, the 10th commandment in Exodus 20. It says that um, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Or anything that is your neighbor's so if you have your own wife you should not have a desire for another man's wife even if your wife agrees or not it doesn't matter um, it's a commandment that we have to obey from God not necessarily from men um, and we have to basically what we have to do is we have to control our hearts desires the tenth commandment like I said is a heart commandment it's a, it's a desire commandment it's on the inside so we have to be able to control our desires so that we do not desire anything that is our neighbor's, including our neighbor's wife. Um, and so one of the things that we have to do is we have to practice thankfulness. We have to be thankful for what we have and be content with what God has given us so we don't have a desire for a threesome. We don't have a desire for another man's wife. And if it's not your wife, it's your neighbor's wife, even if she's not married, because this could be an another man's wife later on. Um, so, the Bible says we should not defraud our brothers when it comes to fornication. And basically what that means is when you fornicate, you're taking someone else's wife. Even if it's they're not their wife yet, they might be married five years from now. But if you're sleeping with them, you're taking, you're taking what, some, what is supposed to be somebody else's. So... Um, yeah, and another thing you can look at is you can look at even the, the men of God in the Bible that had multiple wives. They all had drama. They all had violence in their family. Um, they all had, they all paid the price. And so a lot of times we look at people like David who had multiple wives, people had, like Solomon who had multiple wives. And we say, well, men of God did it. Why can't we do it? Well, the Bible is honest, but the Bible is also very clear that those men paid a high price for for, for what they did. <laughs> they paid a high price for it. There was violence that followed their family. They lost a lot. Um, and so we have to follow God's original plan. One man, one woman. We can't just say just because something happened that it was God's will. It's not God's will for you to have multiple uh, women. It's, a, it's something that brings violence, spiritual violence and natural violence into your life when you... Um, are laying with multiple women. So yet yeah, threesomes are definitely not in God's will, even if the husband and wife are in agreement. That stuff is really not, it's not God's will. So once again, go to Exodus chapter 20, look at the 10th commandment to make it pretty clear.